Konnichiwa YouTubers, this is Red Talk straight from Point Magoo, California. And today we're going to do a video, video review of Fruline, Rebel Tech, Nagato Yuki from the melancholy of Suz Haruhi Suzumiya. And Haruhi Suzumiya, that actually was a light novel manga from Shonen Jump, actually. The dude that actually wrote it was Naguru Tanigawa. Uh, I don't know anything about the manga, anime, whatever that was. You know, this is good old Haruhi Suzumiya. Uh, yeah, the little bunny outfit girl. This is a uh, reboot because it actually came out in 09. So it's going to get version 3.0. So this isn't quite version 3.0. This is a 2.0 body. It is, a, for some odd reason, tell, them, uh, tell us about the new ELF. The ELF female body. So it has a little bit more range of motion, so that's good. So it does, does a lot more shrugs. Oh, I didn't know that, but uh, yeah, I didn't know they were interconnected. That's kind of cool. But whatever, we will take joints if you know about that, that little ball joint. I like it. Hey, there's that dude from Hokuto no Ken. Uh, there's a, yeah, it comes with the little guitar. There, it, this thing has a ton of accessories. I don't know why she wears this witch's hat from the SOS Brigade. I had to do a lot of research for this because I really do not know. Uh, I don't know why she wears that sign. Yeah, the... Yamutsuchi shop, uh, model shop. So there it is. There's the three again. There's Haruhi Suzumiya. There's Yuki Nagato. And some unnamed chick. Uh, version, this is version 2.0. Uh, SP number 2. I don't know why they call it that. Alright, enough about the box. Talked enough about the box. Let me show you what other things come with it. I've never seen so much stuff in a small box. Really. Okay, let's see if we can focus on this real quick. Got like a ton of left hands. One, two, three, four, five. Five extra pairs of hands. Oh, sorry, those are right hands. So we got this open handed. I'm going to use that. And if there ever was, they got this. And I really don't know why it has this. If there were ever a cause for a Revil Tech pliers, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Yeah, those Revil Tech pliers. How useful would that have been to have? Because I cannot get this darn hand in there. Let me see. So it doesn't. There we go. That darn hand. I cannot get that sucker. Why couldn't it be like the other hands where you pop in? I don't know. Yeah, oh well. Six left hands, five right hands. That's extra. So you got on top of what I have here. These aren't her standard hands. Let's see, she has a, she's a witch, so of course she's going to have a little witch's hat. Nice detail on that. And let me just show you that right now. Oh, purple, dark purple. Deep purple, if you like the band. Yeah, I'm not going to sing Smoke on the Water. Nice little cape, very sturdy. This, the sign. Yeah, the Yamasu, Yamasushi Model Shop. Yeah, I can read Katakana. Nice looking guitar. I like the dials and everything. Tabs in really nice. Shoulder strap. Good detail on that. Probably my favorite piece. <sighs> shoes. Why does she need shoes? She changes it when she's in her little band. And an extra face. That's a freaking lootly worthless. The only difference between that and the one she's wearing now is that it looks to the right. Cat and a magic wand. And of course, her stand. So, actually, this is from 2006. No wonder this is more like a 1.0 model. Yeah. Comes with this stand. I like it. All right, enough about that. Let's look at the figure. Oh, yeah, in the book. This is without her cape, and she has a really long neck. And she's holding her little Harry Potter book that has nothing on it. So, yeah. She's the bibliophile. She's the one that. She's the. Uh, prototypical nerd girl, whatever you want to call it, quiet, taciturn, reticent, whatever you want to call it. So you can see the detail of her brown eyes, uh, and, you know, just like anything else, because I'm going to have to pop this head off in order to put her cape on, so, yeah. Uh, not very expressive. Long neck, and it's needed for the uh, cape, Revil Tech uh, joint right there in the ball, ball jointed neck, so no neck ring, which would have been nice. It's a version 1.0, so... As I was told, I have to be a little bit, uh, since it came out in 06, I have to be a little less uh, critical of it. Yeah, 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 I like the little sailor suit. Yeah, I forgot it plugs in. That's kind of cool. So, yeah, moves up and down. The shoulder shrug is pretty good. Uh, bicep swivel on the top, single joint on the 
what do you call that darn thing? Elbow. Ball jointed wrist. And again, I don't know why they had that. But yeah, these things just pop out. So if you wanted to go ahead and just, yeah, there we go. Yeah, really, I would have loved to have the Revoltech, uh, what do you call that, pliers. Okay, I have an upper thigh swivel, ball jointed hip, single joint on the knee, although it does have this weird knee joint so it can like buckle in. Uh, nothing else, a Revoltech joint on the ankle. Really nice. And the shoes do come off, although I find it. It's not that bad to replace them. I find it extremely difficult to put this new pair in because they're brand spanking new. They haven't been broken in, but that's about it. And I'm not going to try. I'm certainly not going to try. All right, man. All right, let's get to the good part. Pop up the head. And if you wanted to, for some reason, wanted to switch out the head pieces, there we go. All you have to do, just like that, pop this one in. Yeah, that was a big difference, just to show you. Oh yeah, I forgot the Revo Tech joint, so I'm going to have to pop that one in. What the heck, really? Alright. I mean, I like the figure. It's, don't get me wrong. I like it. I mean, it just has a ton of extras. All right, there we go. So, pop up the head. I'm going to put her little cape on so she can have the other accessories. There we go. Head, headless, uh, headless girl here. Okay. There we go. Put her little cape. Looks good. Pop on the head. Now she looks more proportionate. Yeah. Get rid of all this stuff in the background. Much more proportionate. Get a little hat. <laughs> you know, it's not bad. She's not a bad looking figure. I'm not gonna lie to you. I like it. I like it with a little little model shop sign. Do not trespass or whatever the heck that is. <laughs> Reminds me of those Wiley e. Coyote cartoons, you know. Don't <laughs> don't trespass. <laughs> That's alright. Let's see. <laughs> well, I'm trying to collect myself. Don't trespass. No, no trespassing. Okay, here we go. Put this little hat on. There we go. More official looking. Yeah, as you can see, the cape does limit her movement. There we go. Don't trespass. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, yeah, she. I also have these fists over here because she can have a, let's see, play her instrument. Badass uh, guitar. Wish it was a Gibson or something. So yeah. Of course she needs her hat. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Not bad, not bad. Also, what are the things I'm missing? Besides the face and the shoes. Comes with a wand. And this cute little cat. Tabs in right here. So there's a little tab as you can see. There we go. So that holds that on. And she has a little wand. There we go. <laughs> She's a witch. Alright, I like it. I like the accessories. I didn't bring a little figure, but let me see. I mean, it is like just slightly under six inches. So, Nate, not a bad figure. Man, with all these accessories of things fall off, it's not bad. I wish it would have given more thought to it. I know it's a Revo Tech version 1.0, but I'm still not going to give it a good score. Well, not a great score. I mean, it's a neat little figure. I'm not going to lie to you. I'll give it a 7 out of 10. Just That's my mediocre, not above average score, because it's not bad. I mean, they, they put good detailing on it, but it's not, I can't recommend it higher than that. All right, YouTubers, that's all I got. Catch you all next time.